What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. It's the holiday season, which means sorrel. And while we've done several sorrel recipes before, today, this one here is special and kind of unique. Stay tuned, you're gonna love this one, but wait, this is part one of two. We're gonna make the drink today, and with the remnants, we're gonna make something else tomorrow. You're gonna love this one, man. Sorrel, Irie, Irie. And if we're making a cranberry sorrel drink, we need cranberries. Nice fresh cranberries. I'm lucky I'm based in Canada and I can say that I can get fresh cranberries. If you're based in the Caribbean or somewhere that's tropical, you can use, if you can find it, frozen cranberries will work. Now, the downside to being based in Canada is that I cannot get fresh sorrel. Well, I can if I go to the West Indian stores out in Toronto. I'm only making that trip. We got all them different variants out there and I'm on staying put. And you know, it's every Christmas season, every holiday season, everybody's asking for sorrel drinks. And I try my best to do a different version without repeating myself. I hate repeat content, but the base flavors, we've got that ginger, a stick of cinnamon. We need some cloves in there and don't go too heavy. And what I like going in there, you know, if you want to put a little nutmeg in there, if you want to put a little allspice in there, you can certainly do that. For me, it's bay leaf, it's that simple. All we would do now is top that up with water. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna fill this pot with water actually. I'm gonna bring it up all the way up. And if you if you were watching, we have there about three to four bay leaves. I have 100 grams of dried sorrel and the dried sorrel will look like this. We've got about four cups of that cranberry. We've got about five or six cloves, one stick of cinnamon. And we're gonna bring that up to a boil, but I'm gonna to top it up with some more water. And as you can see, it starts to come up to a bubble. So what we're gonna do is reduce that all the way down, because what's gonna happen now, I'm gonna give it a good mix. Those cranberries gotta boil, and then they're gonna pop and burst, and that's when all the juice is gonna be released. The dried sorrel, same thing, we're pretty much rehydrating it to pull out all that sorrel flavor. The bay leaf and all the accompanying sort of um, ingredients, will also come together and bring all that nice Caribbean Christmas flavors together with that hint of Canada with the cranberries. I mean, they say cranberries all over the place, eh? not just Canada, but I'm on base in Canada. So we we'll let that go now for at least half an hour. I believe I said 30 minutes earlier, but what I noticed is that some of the cranberries didn't pop yet. It's been going for 45 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is allow it to go for another 15 minutes then we're gonna shut off the heat. We're gonna place the lid on there and we're gonna allow that to steep for a few hours. Now overnight would be best, but because I'm filming today, I'm gonna to allow it to cool down, maybe about three hours and then we'll, we'll proceed. But overnight is best if you really want to pull out all those nice flavors. I ended up allowing it to sort of steep overnight. And what I'm doing now is training it. But the key here, now remember I said this is part one of two. I don't know if I remember saying that to you guys or not. But what we want to do is keep back all of this cranberry and the um, the sorrel. The bay leaf and the cinnamon stick, if you come across the cloves, try and remove that. But for, for now, all we're doing is getting all that nectar out of there. And we're straining it. You may want to strain it a couple times. If you have a cheesecloth, you can certainly use that as well. What we are doing here now is taking this lovely cranberry sorrel base and we are going to make a concentrate with it. Oh, there is one of those bay leaves. Just gonna to toss that aside. No, you're not seeing things. I, <laughs> I kind of disregarded the fact that we have a lot of syrup here. So I opted for a bigger bowl, and then we'll, you'll see what I'm gonna end up doing. But what I, I pause for there to show you is that this can stain your cupboards. So please be very careful if you have white countertops, white cupboards, all that stuff like that. Be very careful, and you want to press down like so. And all I'm doing now is taking all of that pulp and I'm putting it inside, setting it aside here for us to make recipe two. 
hope I don't make a big old mess here. So in goes the juice. Now I did say to concentrate we're making. So which means we gotta bring this back up to a boil and reduce it. Reduce it down until it's nice and pungent and full of flavor. And to add more flavor, I like adding a bit of dried orange peel to the mix there. Now, the other option you have here, and this is totally up to you, but I like adding my sugar. Two cups of sugar in there. And what's gonna happen now is that's gonna become a sort of a concentrate syrup. So whenever I want a nice little portion of sorrel cranberry juice I will take some of this once it's reduced add cold water to it um, and you know do my thing if you want to make a rum punch you can you can do that if you want to add some champagne or some Prosecco you can do all that or or the same concentrate once it's reduced and everything else if you wanted to do um, something more more fizzy you can add soda water carbonated water to it but for now let's just concentrate on reducing this to make the concentrate. Irie? It'll take a few minutes, but as it starts coming up to temperature, the sugar will start melting. And what I, what I, what I was meaning to say there is you can add the sugar now or make the concentrate and later on when you make your individual sort of beverage with it, that's when you would sweeten it. Now, if you wanted to use a diabetic friendly sweetener, one of those stevias or, or, or aspartame or whatever it is you can do that as well if you want to make this diabetic friendly but for now bring it up to a boil decide whether or not you're adding the sugar here or not and reduce it about 35 minutes later on that sort of rolling boil and it's reduced by about a third and we started here so it's about an inch down I'm gonna give it another 10 minutes and I'm gonna shut it down we can remove the orange peel that we put in there that can come out at this point or you can put it down in there as well so that's fine but cool it down before you bottle it down. Remember, we took out the bay leaves, the stick of ginger, um, the stick of cinnamon and the ginger and everything. But allow it to cool down for now. So one of the perks of living in Canada. Yeah, that's snow in the background there. The pot is outside cooling down when you ain't got room in your fridge, man. You got to put it outside. What's up, soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. And once it's cooled down, it's just a matter of adding it to your bottles. And this will last a couple weeks in the fridge. Now remember, we added sugar in here, but later on when you made whatever drink with it, you may need to add some more. But um, yeah, sorrel, cranberry, we've got all that ginger and everything in there. And remember, this is a concentrate, eh? so you're gonna thin it down. And um, yeah, <laughs> Uncle Chris is making a mess, but you would thin it down with you know carbonated water with water if you want to do it with some prosecco or something you can do that if you want to add it to your, your festive rum punch you can also do that the other thing i wanted to mention is if you um if you make a big batch of this and you want to can it just follow your typical canning procedure you know, you know that uh, certain temperatures gotta be at sterilize your cans the bottles that you'll be using and this will last in the well once you can it properly it will last in a cool dry place for a year easily Chris here CaribbeanPod.com always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me I've got a mess to clean up but we've got that cranberry sorrel drink concentrate enjoy